Steve Burns with Bob Dillner. This is very high tech, very <laughs> high level. Uh, only the kind of information that you can get on NASCAR Race Hub via Bob Dillner. You ready, Bob? I don't know. I'm a little bit, a little bit scared. This is very, very <laughs> high level stuff. Uh, the first car you ever owned is a or was I should say. That's true <laughs> because I don't know where it is right now. A 1974 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, white with the rally wheels, with a Rocket 350 engine. Seven. What year was it? 74. I drove a 1970 Delta 88. I, I tell you what, those Oldsmobiles back in the day were awesome vehicles. They had a lot of motor. <laughs> uh, my one weakness is. My one weakness is probably that I'm paranoid about everything and anything. <laughs> I don't care whether it's the job, whether it's raising my kids the right way. I don't care what it is. I'm always paranoid. I thought you were going to say it's candy. But uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, name one thing on your bucket list that you want to do before we take the checkered flag. I want to reach 500 on the tracks that I visited. I have a list, and I'm over 200 right now, and you must be pretty darn close I, with me. I, I don't know. I haven't put a number on it. I think I'm afraid to. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. I, we we I, don't want to let our loved ones know how many we've visited. You know, for, for me, Bob, it's a little different. I don't think it's – I know you go to tons of short tracks, but I think I've been to like a 1,000 NASCAR races. I mean, over 25 years, that's – You want of, to admit that? And I think I just did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, every single day I... Every si single day I, I thank God for the children that I have and that they're healthy and I I'm living a, a good life. I mean, my dad reminds me all the time, you know, we complain. We oh, travel. we can whine about security well, lines yes. and airports. Well, you're not and... traveling as much anymore. No. But, but, you know, we travel this cup circuit, which you've done for a long time, and we all get pissy about the fact that we're on an airplane or in line or getting a rental car or whatever it is. My dad reminds me of what the economy is like these days, and we should just be fortunate that we have healthy people in our lives and that we got God looking at us, and at the same time, we're able to go and do a job that we love. Amen for that, brother. You know what? Once a week, somebody will walk up to me and say, wow, you have a cool job. So that, that helps me exactly. uh, not complain. All right, final question. What does Bob Diller do to get away from it all? And you can't say <laughs> yeah. go to a short track. You can't say, no, no. Come on. You can't say go to a short track. Oh, what do I do to get away? You know what my second like favorite football. thing is to do? I, I love going Baseball. to other sports venues. Fenway Park, you know, go up there and, and go to Soldier Field. Uh, December 12th this year, I'm going to see the, my mighty Patriots against the Chicago Bears. So right. I'm a sports nut like you are. Yep. And if I were to get away other than going to a short track, it would definitely be going to a baseball game, hockey game. or I'm not a pro basketball fan, but definitely a football fan. I'll have to admit a, a short fib here. What? I have to, I'll, have to, I'll have to admit this. Uh -oh. Last week was the first week I haven't been in a racetrack and. Since my son was born and he's yeah, eight, you didn't go to you didn't watch a race live. I, oh. <laughs> I, went, I went to the Panthers game with my son and DVR'd the race. But the key is you still watched all the speed I, coverage of the practices and qualifiers, right? Um, oh! I, I, I saw I saw some of it. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much for watching it. Yeah. At least you folks out there watched. I had to tell the truth. <laughs>